What's going on everyone, Super Andrew 64 here. A few months ago I did a review comparing the 8-BitDo G-Bros Retro Wireless Receiver with the Nyko Single Port GameCube USB Adapter. And if you remember, I did prefer the 8-BitDo one over just because it was wireless, had a bunch of features that the Nyko one didn't. If you want to see that review, I'll leave a link in the description and a card uh, running up above there. But I'm here to inform you that there's a new challenger in town. <laughs> This is the JYS Wireless GC Adapter for the Nintendo Switch. Now, this isn't a licensed product or anything. I actually found this on eBay and this was actually brought to the attention of one of the viewers that watched my 8-Bit Doe review, so thank you again. So this one actually has few features that the 8-Bit Doe does not have. And I'm gonna go over this with you, whether to let you know it's worth picking up over the 8-Bit Doe one. So let's check it out right now and let's get right into the video. So here we have the packaging. It's nothing flashy, just simple things like you expect from China. Picture of the item, name of the item. Then on the side here, it just shows us you can use it. it's wireless, easy to carry for the Nintendo Switch, for the PC as well. Then on the back, kind of funny here though. So it says you get the GameCube adapter, the cable band as well, Switch. Just shows the features and then um, Windows as well. Uh, the funny thing is it says batteries required, but it's covered by the sticker. But then it says built-in battery pack requires charging cable which it's kind of funny because I guess maybe that got lost in translation, but anyway, simple box, here's the other side, just telling the name, nothing too flashy. Now here's a look at the instructions quickly. Now, you think something coming from China is gonna have lots of gibberish in it, words aren't gonna make sense, a lot of grammatical errors, spelling errors, but this one, everything was crystal clear, I understood everything they were saying, and I don't know, they must have a really good, like, uh, translation team because this honestly like no spelling mistakes understand everything step by step everything's good with the instructions so that's another rarity from china i believe so let's check out the adapter itself so here it is this right here is a capture button this is the home button and that's a turbo button on the side here we have the switch button and the pc button so basically when you're pairing if you want to do the switch you press that if you want to do a pc you press that then we have the Wii Classic controller port there, and then the GameCube controller port. Then also comes a little strap that you can hang around, maybe put it on your uh, Nintendo Switch carrying case. And then here's the back, micro USB port for charging. Another thing is this plastic feels really solid, does not feel cheap at all. Again, another rarity, come buying something directly from China. Let's check out the features of this and how it compares to the 8-Bit Doa uh, G-Bros one. So first thing, just looking at the appearance of both, if you see the side there, this one is a lot slimmer than the 8-Bit Doe one. That's a huge bonus. Only because storing this thing in my case, it takes up a lot of room and sometimes I have to leave some stuff out of my case. If I put this in my case, I have no problem. No problem whatsoever. Also on the back, you notice the 8-Bit Doe one has batteries. This one does not. A huge, huge, huge plus. You don't need to carry extra batteries around. The battery life on the 8-Bit Doe one really is not that great. I've, it only lasts maybe a few hours for me. But this one, this lasts for hours and hours on a single charge. Again, another pro for this as well is the battery pack. Sorry, one more thing I forgot to mention. This is light, so when you basically press any buttons there, it should pop up. See, so the blue means it's looking for something, and the red, I think, believe it's charging and needs to be charged. So let's check out this thing in action. Now before we start, we have to pair the device to the switch. So first you go to your controller settings. You go change grip order. Then what you do is you press and hold the S button on the adapter and the home. So these two buttons right here, then it should quickly flash. And there we have it, it's connected. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you working with the GameCube controller. So all you just do is you plug it in there. So first, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go to controls. This adapter does recognize the controller as a pro controller. So you're gonna have to go into the settings and fool around with the buttons a little bit. So. I just set both of these, like L was my jump button, so I'll just send both of these to j jump. Shield and grab, that's the same for me. So jump is X, actually grab is X for me. So remember Y is jump, so it's opposite, so you just have to be aware of that. And then all that should be the same. Also this does support rumble in uh, the GameCube controllers, which is a nice feature. So I'm just going to test it out and show you it working. So there we go. See. No, no issues there. Let's practice my Mario combos. Yeah, so everything works fine. Tilt attack. 
special attacks. So it's working just as a normal GameCube controller. Now, another feature with this one is that you can use a wireless WaveBird controller with it. Now the 8-bit dough you can, but you need an extension cable. But with this one, there's no lip here like the 8-bit dough one has, so you can just plug it right in. See? No problem there. So let's try it out. See, it works perfectly fine. I haven't used this controller in months, so it feels pretty foreign to me. So you can have a truly wireless experience, no wires whatsoever. You can tuck this away and then just bust out your Weber controller and then it will work just fine. Now also, there's actually one more thing I forgot to mention. So when you have a regular GameCube adapter, even the 8-bit dough does this one as well. If you just lightly tap on the shoulder button, the shield will pop up. But with this one, unfortunately, you have to press all the way down. See if I press lightly, shield doesn't come up. But if I'm pressing all the way down, it pops up. So again, that's maybe a little bit of a hinder to most people out there just because I know if you use a GameCube controller for Smash and you want to have the best uh, training tool, maybe this may not be for you just because you have to press all the way down. So practicing like parrying, shield rolling, things like that. If you have a button like me that's a jump button, so you just have to make sure you press down really hard, make sure it registers. So that could be another thing. Now let me show you the last part. It's the Wii Classic controllers. These work with it fine as well. So all you do, you put it in there and you're good to go. So this works fine as well. So this could also be used with the NES games, which I haven't played in a while, so they're probably not on my uh, screen here. If you have a Super Nintendo Classic, you can use this with that. So what are my final thoughts on this? I think this is an excellent way to have a portable GameCube controller experience on your Nintendo Switch. It has a built-in battery pack, which is huge. Not like the 8-bit Dolome where you need to carry around AA batteries with you. And this is a lot smaller, it's a lot lighter, it's easier to store. And if you're on the go and you want to play Smash and you don't want to carry around your uh, dock or your GameCube adapter, like the one you plug in, this is an excellent alternative for it. If you can get past the shielding button, just not registering until you click all the way down, I think this is a great way to experience Smash on the go. And if you're a big Smash fan like I am, you want to play Smash whenever and wherever you can. So this was my review of the JYS wireless GameCube adapter for the Nintendo Switch. It's sad but true, I do prefer it over the 8 bit one just because it has that built-in battery pack that is probably the biggest thing for me. And also it's a lot smaller than the 8 bit one. So this is a lot more portable. It doesn't feel cheap. This is direct from China, but it does not feel cheap at all. And yeah, this, this is my go-to for a wireless GameCube adapter. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you guys still go with the 8 bit one? I'll leave links for both of those products in the description below. This is Super Andrew 64 signing off. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. And most of all, have yourselves a one update. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching my videos.